All right, happy uh, Tuesday, game week, everybody. This is David Hood with TigerNet.com. We're going to try and do an introductory blog this week. Yes, I'm not driving. I'm sitting still. It's Texas A&M week. Tigers take on the Aggies, 3.30 p.m. ABC, Saturday in Death Valley. Uh, but it's game week, and it's Tuesday, which means it's Dabo Sweeney press conference time. And I thought what I would do, take you along for the ride today, kind of let you see a little bit about what we do. So let's get going. We've arrived at the Clemson Indoor Practice Facility. This is where our Tuesday and Monday interviews take place. They uh, actually take place there at that table behind me. Brian Hennessy, who's on the SID staff, he signs everybody in. Of course, all the interviews happen here except for Davo. They happen upstairs in the team room. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head up to the team room, see what happens up there. All right, part of the walkthrough to get to the team room is you go through the weight area. and. Just makes me realize this is a place where I probably, at my age, need to spend a lot of time, but I'm not allowed. Taj Boyd in the house. Yeah. What's up, Taj? How you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, all right. Uh, excited about the week. Uh, proud of our team for how they competed last week. Uh, got off to a really good start. All right. This is David Hood with David Hood, the legend, shot to, shot to the quarterback. That's why we need some of those. Taj Boy, we just finished up Dabo Sweeney's yeah. press conference uh, for Texas A&M week. Uh, he seems really confident because you're going to be a part of Clemson Radio Network. This Saturday, tell them everybody what you're going to so be doing. So I'll be doing the color commentary with Don Munson and Tim Bure, you know, the the human encyclopedia. So I'm excited about that, man. It's a great opportunity. I think it'll be fun to see what that world looks like. I've done some of the the analysis of it, but I've never actually sat down and, and done a full color commentary, so it should be fun. All right, I know that there's more than one key to the game. Yeah. Really quick, one key to Clemson beating Texas A&M here Saturday. I think it's depth at the D-line. And obviously, offense going out there and executing. When I say depth at the D-line, what I mean is – you know, over the last three or four years, we haven't seen <clears throat> our corners play in coverage longer than two or three seconds. Now with this first group of D-line, we saw what we got with them in this Georgia Tech game. I don't necessarily know what the second group looks like. So when third or fourth quarter hits and that first group gets tired, I want to see what these DBs look like and how they perform when they got to stay in coverage a little bit longer. So because Kellen, Kellen Mond can do it. Right, he, uh, an he, array of different things, right? And he throws on the run. He throws on the, he throws on the run. He had 25 carries this last game. You know, so right. you know he's going to step up in the pocket and run. He can throw the ball down the field, and he's just slippery, man. So it'll be fun to see the, this group of, obviously, this rotation of safeties that we just heard about. So with Nolan Turner and Tanner Muse and Kayvon Wallace, and uh, who's our other guy out there? Oh, you got Denzel Johnson. Denzel Johnson you got Nolan Turner, yeah. Yeah, so it should be fun, man. And uh, yeah. These guys, they've been at camp all, all summer. You know, they had that first game against Georgia Tech, but now we really get a chance to see what that challenge looks like when these guys put it in the air. So it should be fun. Make sure if you're at home, turn the TV down. Listen to my man Taj. All right, so here we have uh, Clemson wide receiver Joe Nagata, who was here for his first Monday Tuesday interview session. All right, good afternoon, everybody. This is David Hood with TigerNet.com. Yeah, it's actually big game week here at Clemson. Clemson plays Texas A&M. Now, if you look at the message boards, you wouldn't know that Clemson was playing Texas A&M. Looks like everybody's concerned about the team in the middle of the state. But yeah, it's going to be a, a matchup between either 11 and 12 Texas A&M and number one Clemson Saturday in Death Valley at 3.30 p.m. It's Tuesday, so that means we have the Dabo Sweeney press conference. He said he was excited about the opportunity, and he said, look, both teams they played last year, both teams got better after that game, and it doesn't matter who wins this game or who loses. Both teams have everything still on the table, no matter who loses. That Both teams are going to get better after this game. But like we hit it like one take every time. I'm jinxing them, but we, we hit it like one take every time. All right, so we've reached the last part of uh, today's vlog. You get to be a part of TigerNet Interview Tuesday. Uh, I'm going to switch it around here for just a second. Big part of anything that a sports writer does is all about eating. And you can see the tables there. Herb Tyler, Chick-fil-A of Clemson. He provides our meal. We have to bring our own drinks. But yeah, first world problems. I get it. But yeah, interviews are over now, and then I'm going to take you really quick. Clemson legend Tim Bray. Tim, you're going to be, yeah, it's a video. We're, we're doing kind of a Tiger Net vlog here a little bit. Okay. Tim, you're going to be on the radio with Taj Boyd Saturday with Don Munson. 
with Taj Boyd. What does it mean to be able to kind of leave the press box a little bit and be able to go do radio, something that you're very good at? We all appreciate it. Well, I appreciate it very much, but uh, it's a lot of fun. I actually have to do a little bit more work in preparation for the broadcast now because, you know, when I was doing all the game notes, you know, I, everything I use for the game notes, I can use for the broadcast which right. is, and basketball and, and now that way football. So I do a little bit more studying up, which I'll do later in the week, but uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. And I asked Taj Boyd this a little bit earlier, but if there was maybe one key for Clemson beating Texas A&M Saturday, what would it be? Uh, to me, I think, well, I'd be interested to hear what he said, but to me, I think it's going to be the play of the linebackers. We just heard in the, uh, in the uh, press conference that uh, Dabba talking about how they can go from Texas A&M goes from side to side. Right. Uh, and I think it's going to be important, those kind of undersea routes that the Clemson linebackers are uh, going to show their mobility and cover those crossing routes. Taj actually said defensive line that we've seen the secondary be able to cover for two or three seconds with the, the studs that they've had over the past couple of years. But now maybe that second group comes in, secondary may have to cover a little longer. He looks at that as a key. Yeah, I can see. I mean, they got some big receivers on uh, Texas A&M, so uh, that's going to be an important point also. All right, well, thanks for being a part of the Tiger Net blog. Make Enjoyed sure it very much. Yeah, and listen to Tim Ray, Taj Boy, Don Munson, Saturday. Turn down the TV. Forget those guys. Listen to the crew here. Thanks. We'll be there.